Assalamu alaikum. This is a question on rotation. Starting from rest, a disk takes 10 revolutions to reach an angular velocity omega at constant angular acceleration. How many more revolutions are required by the disk to reach an angular velocity 2 omega? So since we have constant angular acceleration as stated in the question, which is alpha, then we can use the equations equivalent to the equations of motion. Equations of motion. So, in order to find the uh, how many more revolutions required for 2 omega, we first get the omega final for the first case. So, we have this equation, omega final square, omega initial square plus 2 alpha delta theta. And since we are starting from rest, so this term will be 0. So omega final square will be 2 alpha. And the number of revolutions is for the first case is 10 revolutions. Okay. So omega final square will be 20 alpha in terms of revolutions. Okay. So now we found the, uh, the final velocity of the first stage. Now, how many revolutions to get 2 omega? So we need to use this as initial stage. So this will be omega initial 2 square. So omega final 2 square will be omega initial 2 square plus 2 alpha delta theta. So we'll use this one omega initial stage 2 as omega final 1. So now we can substitute for this. So 20 alpha plus 2 alpha delta theta. This is the unknown that we need to find how many revolutions to. And here we have omega final 2 omega. So it should be 4 omega square. Or it is, since omega is it, is it, is it 20 uh, alpha, so it is 4 by 20 alpha. And this should equal 20 alpha plus 2 alpha delta theta. So this is 80 alpha. Then we take this to the other side. Minus 20 alpha should equal 2 alpha delta theta. Of course, we can cancel out alpha from all sides. So 60 divided by 2 will equal delta theta, which is 30 revolutions. So 30 revolutions more after the 10 revolutions, we reach uh, a 2 omega angular velocity. Thank you.